In this video, we will see how to create a couple of Netflix Eureka service instances which upon startup will register with the Netflix Eureka server we had created in my video Spring Cloud Service Discovery Netflix Eureka Server. The Netflix Eureka project provides for service discovery. In today's cloud environment, auto scaling of services leads to services being spawned and shut down dynamically and the Netflix Eureka project allows for dynamic service discovery by the end clients. In this video, we will see how to set up a Eureka service. In the video, Spring Cloud Service Discovery, Netflix Eureka Client, we will see how we can configure a client to contact the service registry, get information about running service instances and connect with them. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running. Here is the Eureka Server project which launches the Eureka Server. This is the one we had built earlier in the video Spring Cloud Service Discovery Netflix Eureka Server. Let's click File, New, Other, Spring Boot, Spring Starter Project. Click Next. Let us name our project as Eureka Service. Click Next. From the available dependencies, let us expand Cloud Discovery and choose Eureka Discovery. From the Ops, let us choose Actuator. And from the web, let's choose web and click finish. Let us go to our main class, Eureka Service Application.java and open it. Let's add the annotation, enable Eureka Client, fix the import and save the file. Now, let us create a controller which will expose a REST endpoint for the service which our clients are going to consume. So let's right click on the source main Java and choose new package. Let's call it controller, click finish. Now let's right click on the package and choose new class. Call it service controller, click finish. Let us add the add rest controller annotation to mark this class as a rest controller. Fix the import. Let's create a request mapping pointing to the root folder with a method which simply returns hello from service one. Let's fix the import. Now let's go back to our main Java class Eureka Service Application.java and over here let us add add component scan controller. This is so that Spring will scan the controller package also along with the com.example.demo package. Let's go to source main resources, open the application.properties file. Over here, first let's add spring.application.name and let's name our application as Eureka service. Let's add eureka.client.service-url and then choose the default zone and give it the URL for our Eureka server listening on port 8761. Let's have this service run on port 8081. And that is it. Let's right click on the project and choose run as Spring Boot app. And we can see from the console that it has registered itself with the Eureka server at port 8081. Now to simulate the situation where we have launched a second instance of the service, let me copy this project. So right click on it and say copy. Let me paste it. It gives it a name of service2. Let's click OK. And here we see the second instance of the same service. Let us do some modifications so that we can know when we are accessing the first instance of the service or the second instance. So let's go to the service controller and here in the return string put hello from service1 second instance. Let's go to the application.properties file. The spring application name will stay the same as it is a second instance of the same service. But let's change the port to be 8082. Alright, that is it. Now let us right click on this project and choose run as Spring Boot app. And here from the console output, we can see that it registers itself with the Eureka server at port 8082. If we go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8761 to access the Eureka server dashboard, we can see that it reports the two instances of the service running at port 8081 and 8082. So this is how the services dynamically register with the Eureka server upon startup. We can access the individual instances. So typing in localhost 8081 takes us to the first instance of the service and changing the port to 8082 
takes us to the second instance of this service. In the next video, Spring Cloud Service Discovery, Netflix Eureka Client, we will create a client which will query the service registry of the Eureka server to discover these services. Thanks for watching.